Okay, so when the experimental structure of a protein is determined, uh, a lot of times it's determined as it's bound to a ligand, whether it be a uh, its receptor or uh, you know just some other ligand for which that particular molecule binds to. And you may not need the ligand; you may just need the particular protein sequence that you're looking for. Uh, for example, the receptor binding domain and uh, the receptor of uh, a, a virus. So uh, the receptor on the host cell may be bound to the receptor binding domain of the virus. Or uh, you may have a protein that occurs uh, naturally in a biological context as a dimer, but you only need to model uh, a single monomer. So you need that model so that you can use it uh, in homology modeling uh, so you need to remove the uh, one of the monomers so that you're left with a, the single monomer instead of the dimer structure. So I'm going to show you how to pull off uh, the ligands or uh, the uh, monomer in the case of a, a dimer. So in this case, we're going to work with the uh, SARS-CoV, the original SARS virus. And it uh, is in the uh, protein database as a dimer, a homodimer. So we're gonna pull off one of those monomers so that we're left with just a, a single monomer, just the single uh, receptor binding domain of the SARS code, the original SARS virus uh, receptor binding domain. So once you already have the, the uh, PDB file from the protein database, uh, you're gonna open up a program called Chimera X. Now this is a free program, so if you don't have it, uh, search for Chimera X on the web, download the program, and install it. Once you have it, uh, you're going to open up Chimera X, and you're going to click open, and you're going to go to the file uh, that you want to split off one of the monomers from. So in this case, we're going to use uh, the 2ghv.pdb file, and we're going to open it. And when we open it, you can see if we rotate it a little bit, that we actually have two monomers here. We have one here and one here. And what we're going to do so that we can split those apart is we're going to select one of those monomers. So we're going to go to select. We're going to go to chains, labeled as the spike glycoprotein, and we're going to select chain E. It doesn't really matter which one you select. But you, you can select one or the other because this is a, a homodimer. So we're going to select chain E. And he's gonna, you're going to see that it highlighted one of the monomers here on the actual spread. So now once we have it highlighted, we're going to go up here to Actions, Atoms and Bonds, and we're going to go to Delete. Okay, so that leaves us with a single monomer. And now we need to save this. So this is very important in that you do exactly what I described you're going to go to select again, you're going to go to chains again, and you're going to select that remaining chain. Okay. And now that you have it selected, we're going to go to file, save, and then we want to save it as a PDB, but we're going to uh, click save selected atoms only. And then we're going to give it a name. So we're going to call it 2GHB monomer only. Okay. And then we're going to click save. Okay. And I saved this to my downloads file. So just so we don't have any confusion as to whether uh, we're looking at the new file or the old file, we're going to go to recent. We're going to delete these. And then we're even going to just shut out the whole program just to make sure that we're not opening up a version uh, of the, the file that was still stored in memory. So we're going to open up Chimera X again. You can see that no models are opened at this time. There's nothing in the log. Uh, we're going to go to open. We're going to go, I just saved that in my downloads file folder. Uh, and we're going to find that 2GHV monomer only, and we're going to open it. And you can see now that you 
only have the single monomer in the PDB. So that's how you pull off uh, ligands or uh, monomers off of a, a dimer, uh, so on and so forth, so that you only have the uh, part of the uh, PDB file that you're actually interested in. Now you can use this structural file, this PDB file, in structural modeling or homology modeling uh, using only a single uh, copy of, of the, the amino acid sequence. So you're going to have to have an alignment uh, you know, whatever you're wanting to model, build a model for uh, as it's aligned to this sequence.